If you guys missed the last episode, make sure you go back and watch it, as that was the first of three days I'll never forget. In today's episode, we'll show the second of these three days as we go after a buck I named Fat Albert. We've had this buck in the area since last year. I went after him several times during bow season, but unfortunately I was never able to get the timing right on him. Let's jump on in because today's episode finally closes the chapter on Fat Albert. All right guys, it's day three of rifle season. I'm super tired, even though I did get pretty good sleep last night. Tyler's on his way out here now. I'm gonna go set back up in the same spot where I shot the buck yesterday. There's another deer out there that we named Fat Albert. We started getting pictures of, um, I have a few pictures of him last year, but his rack wasn't that great. This year, he's a pretty good deer. We're gonna go after him this morning. The area Tyler's gonna sit in, he's been crossing right out in front of him there's a deep hardwood bottom right there and we've gotten a lot of daylight pictures during both season of him i'm going to go sit back in the same spot um, i sat in which is probably half a mile or so from tyler it's really cold out there i mean this is probably the first morning we've had that i can remember this year where it's been below 30 so i'm about to bundle up get all the camera gear packed up and uh we'll see you guys in the woods
and it's cold. I just shot what I think is my target buck. Um, he came out with a group of, there's, I don't know, that four or five, maybe even six bucks. They all came out in two different groups. And I knew once I saw a certain angle on him when I was looking at the uh, LCD screen for the camera that that was him. He walked up and I was, I was scared he was going to walk over into some brush and I rushed the shot. Um, so I shot and then uh, he went over to the right in an area where I couldn't see him anymore. And eventually the other bucks that were with him, thankfully to the suppressor, they didn't run off. Um, they came back over and I saw him get up. Uh, I don't know how much of this I'll have in the video, but I saw him get up and I free-handed a shot on him, which I shouldn't have done. I should have sat down and propped. Uh, I hate free-handed shots over about 50 yards, but I think he's probably 125, something like that on the second shot. So he ran probably 15 or 20 yards and stopped and I thought he fell. But then about a minute later, I saw him move again over by a tree and right now, uh, once he did that, all the bucks ran away. But four of them have, have came back, and I've got another buck that just jumped the fence as I'm recording this right now that looks decent. Uh, but I'm going to get down. Tyler's probably 500 yards behind me in another tree. I'm going to pull these camera cards and go back to the farm and watch the video and see if I can tell where the impact shot was. I think I, he's down right in front of me over some pines, but I don't want to go in there until I know for sure. The camera might be shaking a little bit. I'm really cold. It was 29 degrees this morning when we left the farm. So it's been super cold and I'm set up on this hill. This has been crazy because I shot the deer yesterday out of this spot. And then this one comes out today and I've never even seen him over here. Uh, I don't know for sure that it's my target buck, but I'm pretty sure it's him. He looked just like him. So I'm gonna, we'll get down and Tyler and I will go back to the farm, drink some coffee and warm up a little bit and watch these clips and just see and make sure I made a decent hit before we go off in there. Otherwise, we'll probably give him half the day or so just to make sure because he hadn't crawled off um, and I, I would be able to see him. And these other bucks are still out here right now and they're just staring over there where he was. So I'm going to try to ease out of here without bumping all these deer out and go watch the recording. Okay, I just got back to the farm. I called Tyler after I shot, and Tyler wanted to continue to sit. So I came back by myself just to run through these clips um, and figure out if I made a decent shot, at least on that first shot. So I'm going to watch these and uh, decide if we're going to give him half the day or if we're going to go ahead and go get him. Well, this is definitely the frustrating part about self-filming. I was 100% certain I got that shot on the camera. But I didn't. Um, ah, it's so frustrating. It's really difficult to try and self film bow hunting, but sometimes rifle hunting is even worse because you try and zoom in on the deer and then get set up and then the deer's walking. That's why I tried to make that little kind of grunt call to get him to stop and I thought he was in frame. But unfortunately, I guess when I looked over to see that he was in frame, it was a different deer. Um, so I can't see where I actually shot him. I know there was blood coming out of his mouth um, before I saw, shot him the second time. Oh, man. So I think the second shot was actually a good hit. Unfortunately, the uh, autofocus was on the tree in front of him. This has been this frustrating video session for me because usually I do a, a fairly decent job of keeping the deer in focus. And this time he was out of focus in both, both the first and the second shot. And wasn't even in the frame on the first shot so it's frustrating trying to self film I guess but it's just part of it um, I don't really know what to do I think I'm gonna give him maybe an hour or two it's really cold so there's no point in me trying to go early and get in there on him let Tyler sit a little bit longer um, and then we'll try and recover him and if we were to jump him then we'll wait you know half the day or so and I'll call someone with the dog I have a very good feeling he'll be down right where the last place I saw him um, and he probably already was before I got down. I just don't, I don't want to jump that deer because I'm pretty sure that is the target deer we've been after. He just hasn't been on that side of the property. So frustrating, but 
we'll have to give him some time and, and see what happens. Stay with us. I'm gonna yeah. go find a hopefully not wounded deer. Yeah, I really don't want to jump a deer and track through the bushes for multiple hours. So. He'll be down. He'll be down. He'll be good. Mm-hmm. I knew when I saw him walk out, I was like, yep, we're about to double down today. <laughs> I've never shot one buck and then another one the next day, ever. right there. He is fat. Huh? He is fat. <laughs> you just make sure he had a gas before I <laughs> jumped in and wrestled with him. <laughs> Well, which stage we used to have there? That's a good one. We'll put him on the wall. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Got some scars on his bottom of his neck, too. Yep. Dude. 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 That's him. Oh, God. Jeez, man. He's bigger than I thought he was. God. He's such a stud. <laughs> Dude. He's so awesome. 